Hello and welcome in this first lesson um, of the introduction to Open Refine. So in this lesson we will have a tour of, of the Open Refine interface, see how you create a project, the different aspect of the application and how you export a project. So enough of slides, let's go in the application. So Open Refine run as a local web application. Uh, as you can see, uh, the URL is uh, local and user port 3333. So it's a brand new um, installation. I have no project created, so I will create the first project. And one of the projects we will use in this uh, courses is, is the data set from the city of Toronto open data portal which is a building permit cleared uh, per year. So City of Toronto make available all the building permits that have been completed, closed or cancelled per year in a CSV or XML format. So in our case, we will go for the CSV and instead of downloading the file directly, we will copy the linked address and ask Refine to directly create a project by connecting to this URL, downloading the file and using it and loading it in Refine. So it's important to understand that Refine does not create a copy of the file. So if you create a, pro if you create a project based on a file on your local machine, it will load the file in the Refine memory and all the changes and action you do will not have an impact on your local file. So you keep it as a backup uh, version. So here your file is uh, not tab separated, but comma separated. Selected refine detect encoding uh, and create all the column uh, directly. So refine have a lot of option uh, to set how the file is paused and accept so CSV and line-based file, but also JSON, XML, RDF, or Excel document. So in my case, I will just remove the CSV and create the project. So this first part is really to make sure you are parsing your file properly. And it's only once you create create project that Refine will load the data in your memory and make them available. So now if we look closer at the Refine interface, uh, so the top button, the top logo uh, will bring you back to the home page. We have the name of uh, the project, click to rename it if you want. Option to export the project in various format. If you export the project, for example, as an Excel document, it will create a new download. It will download the file on your local machine. So if I open my folder, I can see my clear permit 2014 Excel file available here. So we say the file have a total of 37 and 96 rows, but we see only the first 10 on this page. The idea behind Refine is not working on a cell by cell, row by row basis, but working by columns. So instead of navigating through pages and pages of results, what we do is invoke functions that are available per column to do either uh, filtering, so listing, for example, all the value available in the permit types, or to do transformation, for example, trimming or leading and training spaces. So as we've seen, uh, data tech, most of the center part on the left, uh, we have two tabs, one listing and storing all the facets you create. And in the lesson two, we'll go in details on the different type of facet and filter and how you can use them to uh, discover and drill down uh, through your data set. 
and a tab that stores the history of all your operation. So here we see create a project and then ask to trim the permit type. In the lesson three, we will go in details on the option through the undo and redo tab. So that's a brief overview of the Refine interface, how you create a project, how you export it through the export function, and how you navigate the project uh, to display multiple records, navigating pages, and the logic of working per column and, on and not line by line like you can use to in a spreadsheet software.